Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Lane back for another Netflix review, and today I'm going to be talking about Marmaduke. Marmaduke is an American 3D animated family film based on the comic strip of the same name, and tells the story of Marmaduke, a Great Dane who lives with a typical suburban American family and is a lovable pet, but his lack of discipline tends to cause trouble for them. One day, a legendary dog trainer meets Marmaduke and decides he can help him turn over a new leaf by training him to eliminate his bad behavior. In doing so, Marmaduke gradually gains the confidence he needs to try to win the World Dog Championship, while engaging in various hijinks along the way. I've been waiting for a long time to see if Netflix would ever come out with a bad animated film ever since I started reviewing their movies, and I can safely say they finally did it with this one. I was genuinely stunned with how terrible everything about this movie is, from the quality of its animation to the lameness of its characters. Marmaduke himself is annoying right from the start, and a lot of this can be attributed to his voice actor Pete Davidson. He barely puts any effort into the performance of the character, with the delivery of his lines varying all over the emotional spectrum, most of them being flat and boring. The only time he has energy is when he's busy yelling at all of the slapstick he has to endure. I wanted to pull my hair out every time he said, uh oh, when something bad happened, and coupled with his never ending obsession with food, any attempt to generate sympathy is overshadowed by his obnoxiousness. There's not much to say about the rest of the characters, because they're more like walking and talking tropes than they are characters. None of the family members have anything that remotely resembles a personality beyond being copy and paste parents and siblings. I found it weird how dysfunctional Marmaduke's relationship was with his family. Even with all of the family photos of him in the house and him behaving better after training, there's some sort of attempt to generate conflict between him and the family, like how his son misses him because he trains so much, and none of it ever goes anywhere. Guy Hilton, the one who trains Marmaduke, was a really odd duck. His entire motivation for helping Marmaduke is all because he has a viral video, which he could have just as easily gotten from any other dog. Beyond this, he's super cheesy with everything he does. He behaves like Family Guy's interpretation of William Shatner with how spastic he moves and speaks, and this made it impossible to take him seriously. Even the other dogs in the movie aren't safe from the stupidity. All of them are stereotypes based on their breed and the country they originate from. The Chihuahua Juan Pedro and Shih Tzu Ji were the biggest source of cringe, as the former barely has an accent at all, while the latter is... I don't want to say racist, but it comes pretty close. The only character I could sort of tolerate was Zeus, who's played by J.K. Simmons. He is a bit bland as a villain trying to sabotage Marmaduke's competition efforts, but his snarkiness is somewhat amusing, and compared to everyone else in the movie, he's easily the best, though that's not a high bar to go over. Even taking this into consideration, all of the characters suffer from the quality of the animation, which is by far the biggest sin this movie commits. I understand it's a lot more difficult to make an animated film as opposed to live action, but I I don't know how they managed to make it look this bad. The character models have disproportionate body sizes that don't make any sense. Some will have toothpick arms and legs, some will have toothpick arms and chunky legs, and some are basically just balls of fat. Promoting body diversity is one thing, but many of these character models reach an uncanny valley level of weirdness. The characters aren't the only ugly thing in the movie either. Apart from some of the interior shots, most of this movie's environments are hideous to look at, especially when it involves some sort of change in the environment, like how foliage magically disappears when Marmaduke runs through it, and the water textures just... Ugh. I had a constant look of disgust on my face when watching this movie, because everything about it is unsettling to look at. There are times when it can't even handle something as simple as movement, such as characters will just hop about without moving their limbs, looking like a T-pose model from a video game the audience isn't supposed to see. All of this would be fine to some extent if the movie was somewhat entertaining with its comedy, but as with its visuals, it completely flops in this area too. The movie simply isn't funny, and a lot of that is because of how dated its humor is. There's a character who does an evil laugh until ends up coughing, tons of puns associated with dogs, and even a line where a dog barks to mask a cuss word that someone else supposedly said, which I found unusual considering this is supposed to be a kid's movie and there's no way that what he said can't be interpreted in that moment as swearing. The comedy can even be straight up gross at times. I have never seen a movie get so out of hand with fart jokes like this one does. One was so bad that I actually got nauseous and had to pause for a minute to recover, and when a movie makes me feel ill like this, that's usually when I lose all respect for it as a word. Of art. The training sequences are meant to be another source of hilarity for the story, but they're more boring than anything else. There's too many of them, they go on for way longer than necessary, and because they're not funny, it becomes more like training for the audience's patience, as they're subject to the same bad jokes over and over and over again. And when one is able to move past all of the bad comedy, animation, and everything else, all that's left is a story that's hard to follow along with. Marmaduke is meant to be participating in contests, but most of the time the movie meanders about and has a logical 
events take place instead. One example in this regard that boggled my mind was when Marmaduke traveled the entire world all by himself. This comes right after he runs away from home after being sad from losing a contest, which at least one family member was worried about. So how exactly the whole family was okay with him swimming all the way across the Atlantic is anyone's guess. Now I know this is supposed to be a kids movie and it can get away with being a little fantastical, but when much of it is set in a realistic setting, it ends up being too silly for its own good. Although oddly enough, I also noticed a good chunk of the movie was quite depressing to watch as well. It has a big problem not just when it comes to tonal shifts, but with how severe they are. When Marmaduke loses a contest, he and the whole family are devastated by this, only for the dad to sit with him for a heart to heart, and all he says is basically, you do you Marmaduke, and then he just leaves. The scene was so so short and unexpected that I couldn't help but laugh. The competition scenes and some of the 2D animated sequences were pretty much the only enjoyable parts of the movie for me. At least with the competition, there's a variety of scenarios the dogs all take part in, although much of it remains bogged down in cringe and confusion, especially with the Shih Tzu Ji. I don't want to say too much about the character because I really don't want to be reminded of him, but let's just say that the fusion of Asian mysticism with rap music doesn't go very well, not to mention the announcer completely flubs their line and mispronounces the dog's name as Zhe. I really don't know how that one slipped past the film. Filmmakers. I'm not sure if this movie is faithful to the actual comic strip it's supposed to be based on or not, as I've never read it, but even as a movie, it's an epic fail. Apparently, it was shelved for a few years due to the ongoing pandemic, so the fact that it was never improved upon in that time speaks volumes of how lazy and haphazard its execution was. Overall, Marmaduke is a big steaming pile of Marmadukey that disrespects the legacy of a beloved comic strip character. If you like animated films and you're looking for one to watch that's fun for the whole family, I highly encourage encourage you to ignore this movie and just pretend it doesn't exist, especially if you're a fan of Marmaduke. Its ugly animation, unlikable characters, confusing story, and bad comedy won't appeal to children and definitely won't appeal to longtime fans of the character either. When a new adaptation like this makes the 2010 version with Owen Wilson look good, that's a hell of an accomplishment. What did you think about this movie? Were you as annoyed with it as I was, or did you find redeeming factors to it? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways guys, that's gonna wrap up my review of Marmaduke. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, stay tuned for the next part, where next time I review the Polish crime comedy, The Getaway King. Bye bye!